Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. We bagged the bag. We bagged the bag. Influence. I can see why niggas hate on I. I didn't went stupid on they ass since I hit the ground. This shit hit different like a shroom. Come on, take a ride. I never thought about dropping brooms. I never made a vow. Purple heart and golden towel. It ain't no fucks allowed. It ain't no fucks allowed. Rest in peace, some real niggas. It feel like every other day we get a little bigger. I feel everything you going through. I'm in the field with. See, got the basketball court right there. Used to spend a lot of time on the basketball court. You know. That's how they try. That's how our parents tried our best to uh, try their best to keep us out of trouble. You know, put us in sports, and we was nice. We was good in sports, so it was something we took a liking to. So even though we around everything, you know, sports was number one thing on our mind for for the, for the long for a long time. Except said we started this ghetto stuff brand. It ain't just a brand though. It's a way of life. Here is my brother Brian Miko. Right there behind the camera. You know what I'm saying? My brother Migo. You know, we just trying to put on for the west side. You know, this side of the west ain't so famous. You know, they see. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't be want to rep this part of the west side. You know what I mean? We gonna put on for it though. They can say die seriously. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah, man. Beach Groove, you hear me? From the west side of New Orleans, man. West, we go to Big Zach. That's what I'm repping. You know what I'm saying? That's what my people stand there when, when I was born. You know what I'm saying? Fuck this court. Just being on this court bring back a whole lot of memories. This is where we was at before the storm. From here, Dave, Cleveland, Gordon. That's when everything was everything. Ended up going to Houston. Houston after the storm, you hear me? Humble beginnings. That's what I call it, humble beginnings. You see what I'm saying? When we was living around here, Beach Grove and shit, this was, this was normal for us, you know what I'm saying? I ain't think we were struggling. I don't, I don't really see the struggling because we had everything we wanted, had everything we needed, you see what I'm saying? But I feel like it's, I feel like it's deeper for you to know what it feel like to have and then lose it all. You see what I'm saying? And I ain't like I just started out born having nothing new. My mom, my, my mom was yeah, she worked. My daddy was hustling, doing his thing. Couldn't help whatever. You know, I had go karts, dirt bikes. I was the first young nigga driving. X, seven, like six, seven years old. You hear me? Nigga put me in the car, told me take my foot off the. Take my foot off the pedal and just let the car roll. You remember? Just, just turn the wheel. Young niggas, real life, like six, seven years old. This before the storm. See what I'm saying? Just, I ain't been back right here since before the storm. This is the exact spot. You remember? When I was running around this kid. We stayed over there. You see me? We stayed. We stayed in three, three different apartments back here. We stayed in the front, the front of Beach Road. You remember? I never forget one time. Somebody broke the fire hydrant, fire up, water hydrant, you hear me? We had a whole fucking plate in the parking lot, you hear me? Real shit. We had our first fights around here and everything, man. Me and my brother Gal, man, Migo. First, you know what I'm saying? Everything. So my cousin, them jumping off the porch, going crazy young. Just soaking it all up. So I had my other cousin, you know what I'm saying? He was the best nigga in the city with that football shit, so... I had I had different avenues to look up to. You see what I'm saying? I I started all with sports. You know what I'm saying? It was that's all it was. That's all I knew at one point was sports. You did. It's crazy. Baby, I want a beer, baby.
house until I knees crack. Huh. Blockers on that move, yeah, nigga, my whole team fat. I'm on that tip. Expressway. Yeah, well, probably if, probably if I ain't had God on my side, y'all wouldn't know no GSD dirty. Rev. That was like three. That was like three. Three or four. In the car, my daddy, we ride. Music. Music. That's the reason. That's the real reason. Music. We bumping. You hear me? I'm standing up in the passenger seat. I turn. We turn. I fall out the cuff. Middle of the expressway. You hear me? Expressway right here. Expressway where we at? So I'm like, make this left and we gonna we gonna go to the exact spot. We gonna pass this. I fell out out the car in the middle of the street. The music so loud. There's so much going on. My daddy ain't even know I was out the cuff. Ain't even. You know, I was out the car to probably like 30 seconds. 30 seconds after I had to fell out the car, I'm laying in the middle of the street, you hear me? Um, this one reason why I say I ain't, I ain't racist, because uh, a white lady, a little white lady pulled over and picked me up. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, um, and I forever appreciate her. I don't know who she is, uh, uh, you know, ain't nothing like that. I wish, I wish I could thank her. If she ever see this, if she remember this story, I'm thanking her right now. Get in this lane right chip. Music's still gone. Uh, soon as he turn right chip, I fall out the cup. Uh, soon as he swing, I fall out the cup. At this time, his Waffle House wasn't here. His Waffle House wasn't here. He probably was about 10 yards past his Waffle House. No Waffle was the kill that nigga. <laughs> I knew where a lot of my, you know, don't know the story, won't see where a lot of shit come from. That's one significant thing I feel like I won't tell you. Life of a Jeopardy. I'm telling you, it used to get real out here. You see this spot? I'm telling you. Hours. Me and Bro. Yeah. Gal, you hear me? Going at it. Bag to bag. Yeah. Bitch, I'm talking about everything. You hear me? Three point shootout. One on one. One on one. 50 times. Playing one on one 50 times. Playing other niggas. That's good memories right there, too. These niggas surviving nines. No, I wasn't on that time until my cousin died. We don't fuck a rest. And no, we don't fuck a smile. They never offer to a penny while you drop the dime. I be fucking niggas, bitches, so I gotta keep a mind. Think she gon' move me, man. A stupid bitch, you out your mind. Hey, I hate speaking on the beat, but fuck the other side. We hate the niggas the most. We catch them leaving fried. All you beefing by the bitch. You can get blood in the way. It's gonna shake back if it play. This the new updated jet. I had to the loss and to the loss. I got a metal jet on my way out of. Say, cuz, it's been like four months since you dropped the song. What's the hell with you? You got me waiting. If, if you go, bro, what's up? What's up, son? Hey, hey, what the fuck you was on, nigga? But this motherfucker you just dropped off. <laughs> nigga, god damn, nigga. Hey. Hey, nigga. Hey, man, I don't know what the fuck you was on, bro, but I fucking appreciate you, because this shit cold in the motherfucking nigga. God damn! Yeah, yo, with this shit, man. Life of a Gemini.
Say so, hey, congratulations on them posting you on their story, and this is just the beginning. And thanks for being the most humble nigga that I ever knew, because you ain't you the only nigga that I know ain't no following the leader ass nigga. So thank you for being real, and thank you for speaking that real in your music, because I definitely be jamming that how it works. But other than that, I hope you have a good day.